this has already happened, this has already occurred, are we going to secure borders in this country? Are we going to stop terrorism? I'm going to make a statement. I don't care if it's on YouTube, I don't care if you tell whomever. I consider, I, I have photographs of the people who were in Boston who were blown all to pieces. And I got a picture of a man, some of you in this room have seen these photos, of a man whose tibia is sticking out of his leg with no meat on it. I've got a picture of a young lady with arm missing. I've got pictures of people who are doing nothing but having fun. And they've, we've been attacked. And I'll tell you who I blame as much as I do as I blame the jihadists. I blame the people who starting, starting right after that last amnesty did not close this border and did not secure our country. Every politician that sat in Washington since that day is guilty, as far as I'm concerned, as an accessory to homicide. Larry, shame on you. you you're using the Obama tactic of never letting a good crisis go to waste in an amazing fashion. The Boston bombing had nothing to do with illegal immigration. Those people were admitted to the United States legally. One of them was a United States citizen through immigration. It had nothing to do with an unsecured border and had nothing to do with what we're talking about here tonight. It was certainly a failure of our government. It was certainly a failure of our government to communicate, to prioritize, and to do what it's supposed to do. But it has absolutely nothing to do with tonight, and you know it.